Hey guys, Dustin here, and today's video idea comes from Matei from Slovakia. He wrote in and said, take a bottle, stick it on a table, shoot through the open neck and try to bust out the end, and it ought to look awesome on high speed. And I totally agree. I think that'll look awesome on high speed camera. And it's gonna be challenging though, because you're shooting through the inside of it, not trying to clip it with the edge of the bullet. So we deduct our target area from our bullet diameter, and that's all the wiggle room we have is just that little bit right there. We can make it a little easier going 22, but I figured uh, we're going to go with 9mm and see if we can just thread the needle with that round. We'll put a stick of cotton in, cotton ball in there in case, uh, well, so one, I can see it, two, uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, even if I just shoot and break the glass, uh, that will at least look awesome on a high speed, and I love playing with that camera, so we're going to try that in just a second. But first, make sure you check out our sponsor, and that is Core Essentials. Core makes the best gun belts out there. It's all I've been wearing since I found them at SHOT Show a year and a half, almost two years ago, and I have actually a dedicated video on it because the reinforced rigidity of these belts is awesome. So when you're carrying any kind of gear, it's going to hold up well. And this is their new Garrison belt that is a one and three quarter inch thickness, so it's rated up to a 10 pound load. But besides the whole rigid, awesome gun belt factor is the quarter inch adjustments. Do you hear that? You don't have to click it if you want. You can hold down the release and just go back and forth. You have 20 inches of adjustment on your belt, and it's not like just one inch holes and leather that dates back to like, you know, uh, way before Jesus' time, okay? The belts come with a full 54 inches, and it's a one size fits all thing. So you just take, I like cut off 20 inches here, and then I put the clamp on and I bite the teeth down and screw the screws in. Check them out at Core Essentials. And then also LAS Concealment is the holsters that I've been wearing lately. They're very comfortable and uh, they're just they're real high end. It's like a 3D CAD and all CNC machine with these tuckable wings. And it's the first time I've been able to carry appendix wise comfortably is with these LAS holsters. This one, uh, we featured it in the Hellcat video a while back. And after I made the video, I'm like, I like the Hellcat, I like LAS, and it's the rig that I've been wearing lately. And they also have ones that are light bearing as well. So check those guys out. The gun we're using today is the Glock 34, uh, tweaked up a little bit for, for my three gun days. So we're gonna be using that and some Angel Fire ammo. But with that, let's shut up and shoot. We're gonna go set up in the sunlight because we need less sunlight for the high speed. Well, high speed over there is set for 5,100 frames per second. And so that should be plenty to see the bullet in flight. I haven't tried this before because I was afraid, one, I would run out of bottles, and two, um, uh, you know, sometimes you do a shot without things running and you're never able to recreate that again. So just in case I can never recreate that again, let's just shut up and shoot. Let's do this thing. I think I missed that one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought I missed the whole thing. I'm glad I put that cotton swab in there because when I went and looked at the high speed, you can see that bullet blow straight through it, destroy the cotton, and then the glass shatters from the end all the way forward to the neck. And so it just shattered the whole thing like it was tempered glass. It didn't blow out the end like I was hoping and thought it would, but the shot was perfect. So that was amazing. My first tip was I looked and I saw the cotton was really fluffy. Let me go get it. Look, the cotton's really fluffy. I'm like, how did that cotton ball get so fluffy if I missed the whole stinking neck? Well, I did it, and I hit it on the very first shot. I had like six of them over there ready to go in case it didn't work out. See, I totally planned on missing. I had all these ready and I didn't need them, but that was awesome. So now, of course, I want to see if I can do it again, and I'll, I'll slow the frame rate down even more so we get a little better high speed, and maybe we bust out the bottom, but come on, I've got I gotta, I gotta miss at least some. I got, I got enough bottles. We'll just do it again and see what happens. Glass bottle versus bullet, round two. Let's see, I see a lot of cotton. Oh, I got another bottle cap. It is unharmed, and so unless I miss by a whole half inch, which is unlikely, we got it again, so high speed time. So 
So the cotton was all fluffed up down range and the neck is unharmed all around where I can touch. However, on the high speed, you see the bullet is just a tiny, tiny, well, okay, it's a little off center down below. I can see a tiny rub mark, but I can't even feel it as being chipped here. So there's a tiny, tiny rub mark inside it. Now, not inside the neck itself. The bullet must have hit, just rubbed a little. You see just, I think, a tiny bit of glass sparkle come out of the neck. And then again, the bullet just shatters into the end. And when it does, it just spiders all the way up. And the whole thing breaks except the neck. So while I wanted to just have this beautiful bottle end get broken out, you know, like when you shoot out the center of a clay target, it didn't exactly work that way. But I'm going to do it one more time. Can we get three out of three? I'm, I, I actually kind of hope not because I want to see what happens when I uh, hit the neck anyway. Oh, <laughs> we left a whole cylinder there. That was a miss, but I'm glad it happened because it proves the other two were direct hits. And this is how we know, we totally destroyed the first, uh, the, the neck here. And you can see the bullet on the high speed go down just a little lower. We've still got fluffing uh, uh, cotton everywhere, but the cylinder that came out of it, uh, I guess it's because it broke at the neck, so it broke around here and then it broke around there. And so it's actually cooler than the shots that hit with what we have remnants of. Neat idea. If you've got an idea for me to try too, go ahead and leave it below in the comments. Appreciate y'all coming out to watch today. Remember, check out the patrons in the Facebook Insiders group as well, because you supporters are awesome. And okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing. If you're still here, vote for me on the Gundies, and then I get to go to drive tanks later in uh, January. So uh, we'll try to leave a link in the comment section. You can click and vote for me if you think I'm a good shot or there's some other category I was nominated for. There was not a goofiest YouTuber award, or I totally would have been a shoe in for that. Maybe next time. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye again. Did you see that? Come on, Nasi! Come on, Nasi! Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball!